Hey guys, Kyle Torak here, Sod Phase 3 launch, and we are in ZF. There are quite a few changes to go over, so I just want to um, show you what I've learned. I'm almost level 45. I've been here since 43. Um, it's pretty easy. Um, let me go over my specs real quick. Um, so I am using dual spec to make this as easy as possible. Right now I have a frost spec that I am using to get to the graveyards, and I am using a fire spec for the kill phase. So for my kill fire spec, I am using 10 arcane to get arcane concentration. Uh, in the fire tree, I went to master of elements, got some in critical mass, got some in flame throwing and ignite. This is just to keep the, uh, to increase the spill, the kill phase up. And then in frost, I have elemental precision. Um, and then my frost spec is just ice barrier and ice block just to get to the, to the kill phase uh, faster. But for those that don't know and have done this in the past, a lot of the safe spots have been removed and a lot of the um and the kill phase is just completely different the mobs become immune to slow very fast and then they start moving fast so you're literally not blizzarding at all anymore in the kill phase it's just pure living bomb spam so um let me show you how to get there the first reset spot that we used to use is no longer available so you have to do a long run this is why i recommend ice barrier for the run there makes dual spec so much better um Normally, we would reset at this box right here, but you can no longer reset there. Um, I've already lost my Ice Barrier and Mana Shield due to crit, so make sure I'm facing mobs so I don't get uh, dazed. Aggro those guys. Aggro those guys. Okay, we're going to blink Ice Barrier just in case we get autoed. And then here's our first reset point. So if you can get here, you've won. This is like you have gotten this down. Like the rest of this run is super easy. Get here, wait for these mobs to reset. If there's a totem in the line of sight, you might want to kill it because uh, it might keep you in combat. Okay, so those guys are no longer targeting me. I got my ice barrier and mana shield back up. I'm mounting and I'm continuing the run. On this part of it, I like to hug the right side because the casters, they will, are less likely to daze you and they don't hit as hard as the melee mobs so your shields do better. Jump over this pot here. Still really good on shields. Got 550 shields left, so I can keep running. Now, I'll be showing you all of the safe options here. You can speed this and go straight to the boss and then immediately start opening graves. I will show you the safe way where you can reset. I just got day, so I'm going to blink. Um, so we're not going to go open graves immediately. Sometimes you can just run in here and just start immediately opening graves. We're going to show you the reset spot, just the safe route. So you come up here, and then you run up to this spot here. Okay, so now the hard part is done. I am going to keep my frost spec for this, um, just to keep ice barrier for the opening of the graves. Now, I have a shout-out to, of, of course, my stream and Maria the Mage from the Mage Discord. Um, they recommended me using um, mouse scroll to open the graves, which has helped a lot. So I just scroll down on my mouse wheel and it opens graves. So um, you have to mount up here now to climb up this ledge, but now you want to get up here. Now, normally when you open graves, you'll open them, the mobs attack you, you take damage, you die. However, this boss is weird. It's currently unactivated. As you can see, it's friendly. When you activate the boss by aggroing him, he all the all the zombies that spawn from the graves run to the boss so you'll see me here activate the boss and now the zombies will run towards the grave so now i'm just um spamming mouse wheel down getting as many of these guys as i can and then you get to the spot here do not open these graves to the right because while you're trying to reset these mobs you can see we're resetting them um if you have these graves open, they will constantly aggro onto you while you're trying to reset. So don't open these ones until these mobs reset. Go ahead and put an ice barrier up. Okay, so now we go back to looting. Keep scrolling down. Now, you see me blink to the right here. That's because no males can't go to the left. They're too fat. No males will get stuck trying to run here. A lot of other mage classes, races, like humans and female gnomes and stuff, they can um, cut through here. No males can't, so you have to swing wide there. Oops. We're still good, though. Climb back up. All right. 
We need these mobs to reset. They were aggroed on to us because we were still down there, so wait for these mobs to reset, then we'll open the last graves. Okay, now we're gonna get the last of these graves. We're gonna start in this corner because it's the farthest spot we gotta run from. Okay, we got all those mobs. Get back up. Okay. So these mobs are all gonna reset to these graves here, so you're gonna want to run up over here so they're not constantly aggroing onto you. Wait for them to reset. Then you're gonna mount up and then you're gonna go back up here. And then we're gonna do the pull. Okay, so now that you've got the mobs all set up, we're going to do the pull phase. We're going to uh, swap to our fire spec and we are going to use rank one flame strike to pull these two groups of mobs. Okay. Now you run around. Get all the mobs you can. You're probably gonna have to flame strike these far mobs here. Then you jump across and all the mobs should start coming. Yep. Jump back to juggle them. Now again, we're not running blizzard, so we have nothing to stack the mobs. Go ahead and get our first living flame out. Start getting some early living bombs out. The mobs have not got their move speed boost yet. Go ahead and use my engine, my tailoring helmet just to get a lot of living bombs out. And you're just tab living bomb. Master of Elements crits are giving me so much mana back. We still don't have the... Um, move speed boost from them, so we just got to make sure we're keeping our eye out for that. Make sure we're juggling them as well as we can. Getting clear casting procs as well. Wow, the extra mana is actually huge. You guys see this? I'm like not going oom um at all. This build's crazy. I didn't even evocate. When I was doing this as Blizzard, I was having to evocate every two seconds. So looking like about three living bombs for between each jump. We just hit level 45, nice. Obviously the hitting the level up gave us more mana, but I still haven't even evocated, so. I didn't even mana gem, I did use a mana pot, but outside of that. Oh yeah, definitely go this fire build. For sure, boys. For sure. My kill phase just got like twice as fast swapping to this fire build. We can go ahead and evocate here now. Nice. Okay. So the kill pay phase is super easy as fire. I believe I'm already almost 46, you guys. This is freaking insane. I'm leveling so fast. Like, ZF was fast before, but the 50% XP buff is just so awesome. Am I recording? Okay, so to reset ZF, um, you can, one, just run out the front. Um... There is another option for those who are not log out resetting to the graveyard or that don't want to run out. You can run to this boss over here. And if you do a backwards jump onto this crate and log out, you should be able to do the cave abuse log out resets that you see people do. So you just jump up here, not like I did though. 
get up top, jump to it over here. Should be able to kill the mobs with Blizzard. Just do a max rank Blizzard and they should die. Get rid of those mobs. Okay, so now we have to do a backwards jump. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, now we are on the crate and we are going to log out. And there you go. We are now at the front of the instance. Um, you still have to zone out and reset it, obviously. Uh, but yeah, that's how you do Zulfarak. Um, you can swap regeneration for burnout in case that you miss the runes again. Um, living flame and living bomb, spell power, and either burnout or regeneration in case you want the healing. Um, one last look at the talents for my frost spec. Just running deep frost for ice barrier to get their safety. For the kill phase, I'm running Arcane Concentration for clear casting. I've got Deep Fire for Master of Elements and Critical Mass, um, as well as Flame Throwing and Ignite for the extra damage, as you can see. Um, where is it? Uh, do, do, do. Did do one of these fights? Or is it a long pull? Well, I'm not seeing it, but Living Bomb, li uh, Ignite does a lot of damage. It's like 6% of your damage, so you'll want Ignite. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching the video, and um, good luck in your ZF leveling, boys.